Hello, this is Nate with Paradise RV, trying to get the logo on the back. Say hi. Uh, so Deborah and I are getting ready, packing for our trip to Hilton Head Motor Coach Resort. Hello, fussy baby break. Say hi, Gabe. Hi. There's a smile. There's the people, Richard. Hi. What? What people are we saying hi to? Uh, we're making a vlog of our trip. Oh. Yeah. Well, wherever you're going, enjoy yourself. Enjoy RV01. Yeah. Okay. Say hi. This is a little bit of the stuff that we packed. So uh, we got a little more organized. Uh, work with this a little better. Before we go, I'd like to do a quick inspection. Just kind of look it over. Make sure that the tires are good. Make sure the AC is working. That the stove is working. That the refrigerator is working. A lot of times I like to pre-cool the refrigerators because they do take a second. Um, they can take up to four to six hours. So I think our levels are good. We got some full propane, full battery. Fresh is full, black tank is empty, and gray tank is empty. Uh, yeah, next is load up at home. Uh, so, we'll so it depends on what we will be doing when we're camping as far as what kind of octane I'm gonna be using. So we're just going to a campground. We're not gonna be running the generator really. Uh, so we plugged into power. So with that, we just need regular 87. So we like to get the RV the night before and pack and kind of go over things, double check that we got everything. Uh, here's some stuff that we bring, you know, food, cooking oil, um, some tea, coffee for sure. Um, started packing some things in the refrigerator, uh, pack an extra jacket, um, long sleeve, got my hiking boots, uh, my hiking knapsack. Bring a, a Bluetooth speaker, it's always nice to have. We'll pack some games too. Hello. Uh, so we get this question quite a bit, um, how to travel with car seats, do the campers have, uh, lap belts and things like that, they do. So this is how we do it, um, we have a lap belt right here, so we just put it through, connect it on that side, and then just pull it tight. Sit it right here. Voila! And then we'll typically have Deborah sit back here with the baby and just kind of make sure everything's good. Hello, are you enjoying your car seat? Alrighty, we're all packed up and about to hit the road. Hello, a uh, fun tip uh, Deborah likes to throw out is um, we refrain from bringing any luggage. That's why we bring it home the night before and just kind of load everything directly. It kind of helps save space and time a little bit, but more importantly, space. All right, so we're at Target. I uh, need a couple last minutes. Um, just looking for citronella candles now. Can't seem to find them. Not that aisle. All right. to go check in all right we're checked in and we are on our way to the site mm -hmm. uh, this is the Hilton Head Island Motor Coach Resort I keep hearing how nice it is so yeah we're down here checking it out and it does look very very nice
we are back into our site. Um, before I do anything, I'm just going to double check the leveling. I think the nose is a little forward. So, oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. Not bad. So I decided to use the left one blocks. It wasn't quite perfect, so I'm kind of a stickler for left one, especially if I'm going to be here for a couple of days. Okay. Now it should be perfectly done. Double level. Yeah. There we and go. this site is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's that face? Yeah. Right? Outdoor refrigerator, sink. So this will be our home for the next couple of days. So next thing I want to do is hook up uh, the utilities. So power, water, sewer, cable. Hello. So we're plugging into power. Pretty simple. Uh, just make sure that the breaker's off. Make sure that the AC unit is off on the inside, and then you can go ahead and plug in, and then turn your breaker on. That's it. Um, so it's already been secured to the line right here. And then we will take the other end and plug into the city water outlet down here. Deborah's putting out the slides. I'm just putting out the awning. Or the awning, I'm sorry. Right. We got the utilities hooked up. We got the sewer hose with the slinky, slinky support. Got the water hooked up, all situated, and power. Now it's time for the front privacy wrap. So, that side tucks into this door panel, or not door panel, but door jam. And the other one wraps around. So you'll see it at the beginning, you'll see it at the end. The campsite is set up. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Buddy. Yeah, show me how you splash. Mm -hmm. uh, the lights just came on. Say hello. Little guys out. Oh. All right, day two. Say hi to everybody, Gabriel. Hello. Morning at our campsite, enjoying a nice book this morning. Here it's playing. Say hey, bud. Say hey. Hello. <laughs> Nate went for a swim this morning. Y'all have a good day. Tonight we are cooking hamburgers uh, on this little safari bill. Right. So I figured I would record. This is our last night here. Um, it's been awesome and beautiful. And we found out that you can purchase blocks here. Yeah, yeah which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's the last night. It's drizzling. Uh, typically, we tell people to bring the awning in when it's raining, uh, but it's not raining that hard. It is just drizzling. So if it picks up, we will bring the awning in. But I figured I would record the last night here and show you guys the peaceful atmosphere.
Okay, so we're close to getting everything buttoned up. Uh, trying to leave the campsites the way we found it, cleaning up all of our um, trash and remnants. And so we're going to work on getting the rest of this kind of buttoned up and cleaned up. Uh, these need to go back, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll bring you along to detach and everything. So we did bring the back slide in. We cleared everything out from. Um, in front of it and behind it, make sure I give enough room, uh, packed everything up, and then same thing with the front slide. We made sure everything was removed and cleared um, before bringing it in. All right. So bringing those slides in helped give me access or clear access for me to be able to get to the utilities to properly unhook them and do what I have to. Down in the so, rain, uh, which is. Uh, the same way you break it down any other way uh, but it really focuses on safety so anyway before i unplug i definitely want to uh pull that breaker down make sure that there's no power running to this and we can go ahead and pull it out next i did turn off the water already so turn that off and then just unscrew here i need two hands i'll be right once i get the water hose unhooked I will uh, blow through this end to remove any remaining water. So. so water doesn't sit inside the hose and get stagnant and mold and mildew and all of that stuff. Okay, now we are dumping the tanks. You can see that the gray tank has already been dumped. The black lever is right here. All we have to do, make sure our hose is secure, which it is and pull. Um, this one does have two levers. Uh, most don't. Most only have one lever. So we have to go over here and make sure that that lever is pulled. Uh, gross. But it seems to be dumping pretty well. And so even after dumping it, the black tank still reads uh, two thirds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up and I'm going to fill it back up with water. It'll probably take about five to 10 minutes or so. So for the sake of time and the fact that I look like I just uh, climbed out of a swimming pool, I'm uh, completely trying to head to toe. I'm gonna to skip going into a little bit of the details on the outside. So now that I'm changed out of the soaking clothes, uh, I got another plan and idea to get the, uh, the dump tank or the black tank to read empty. So I'm gonna do the bag of ice first. Okay, so I got my bag of ice, and I'm just gonna pour it down. Oops, ice. I've got my bag of ice in there, and I'm just running the water a little bit. It's on a drop in. So I double checked the campsite, it looks like we have everything. The only thing left, hello, uh, the only thing left is leveling blocks, so. Yeah. Disengage the parking brake. Pull forward. Boom. Grab the leveling blocks. Um, I always have a difficulty trying to get that logo in there. Anyway, uh, I'm just doing a quick wrap up video or a conclusion for our video and our little uh, fun excursion that we had down in Hilton Head. It was a blast. Uh, campsite was beautiful. We got to do a lot of fun things. Uh, things that weren't really shown on there, we did get a chance to go to the beach, uh, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we did sneak out for dinner one night. That's kind of against the camping rule, I think, but we did it anyway. Um, but yeah, we had tons of fun, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, rent, check us out. We're about to launch uh, a new website here pretty shortly, so it'll have sales and rentals on it. Um, and yeah, hope to see you guys in the future. Thanks.